And welcome back to another episode of Divine Journey 2. And today we're going to play through my least favorite mod in the entire Minecraft community. Totems. Well, looking at the quest book, it just basically describes how to make totems. Um, doesn't look like we actually have to make one for the quest, but I am going to make a creeper one for right here, just in case I uh, have a creeper want to wander up and try to blow everything up. He will not be able to do that. Ocelot is what we need, and it can be six tall. Here's my base. Now we can do one, two, three, four, five for a total of six, right? And we just need to change this with the mouse wheel to Ocelot and carve all of the Ocelot. I built another one for near the chest, but I still don't see any effects coming up. So yeah, I guess we're just going to leave it and hope it's right. Okay, with some totems made, we should go ahead and make some totemist drums for the rituals. And I only have one bone and I need six tanned leather. Um, I could probably make enough lime dye, but I'm going to go try to kill some skeletons or find some of those white cave roots. Uh, I think that's one. Do I have to right click it? Shift right click it? Hit it? Hit it. Gotcha. Oh, there's another one. More bones. I didn't get bones from either of them. Oh no. I don't like those things. Where is it at? Oh, I see him. He's over there. Why is there a crab down here? He got lost. I hear you. Oh, the skeleton's waiting his turn to be murdered. And you gave me a bone. Thank you, sir. Wow. I don't, didn't even see lava. It's not bright. I don't know how that just happened. Um, this is going to suck. Oh, that's why I didn't see any light, because it was tar that I burned up in. Yep, that's good, just like that. Uh, let's go home. Okay, enough of that godforsaken place. I have bones and I have white sprouts now. There's six treated leather. Now we just need two copper blocks and some wood, I believe. Two drums for us. Oh, it looks like this tool right here can both stop a ceremony and display effects with totems. Let's make this. There's our totemic staff. And just out of curiosity. Active totem effect. Why is it resetting it? Um... I don't quite understand what's going on. It's definitely not how that's supposed to work, I don't think, and we're not even going to try to use it on the other one. Next, we have the jingle dress and the flute. On to our first ceremony. Maybe not so sweet. The rite of spring. So I think we're going to do our ceremony stuff for here, at least for now. To start it, we have to equip the flute, the jingle dress for extra music notes, and then we use the flute and the drum. So let's place some saplings. Place our totem base. It's not a totem base. Place our totem base down, and we'll activate the ceremony. I hate this mod so much, but I did it. They were transformed. 
on to the next musical instrument, drop off some experience, and continue to work. There's three wind chimes. Oh boy, here comes the fun one I have not been looking forward to because there are no cows anywhere to be found near me. Well, it did happen to find me a nice little pack of cows. We're making our way back to the dirt road. Also, must I note, I will be coming back and grabbing some foxes. My only constraint is I can't find the berries anywhere. I've found like six or seven foxes and no berries. Um, do parrots follow wheat too? I thought they followed seeds. I guess we're bringing some parrots back. I like how the blue parrot is trying its hardest to keep up. All aboard, everyone. All aboard. Oh my gosh, come on. This cannot be the hardest part of the journey. Yo, where are you trying to jump up at, dude? Okay, the parrot's getting distracted by a squid. I'm out of here. Zyphir the cow hoarder. It's a great look. Also makes it really easy to keep up with them. You belong in the water. Please get in the water. Thank you. Great. Oh, great. Well, yeah, you won't fight me in the water, will you? All that work and no ender pearl. What is that madness? Maybe now we can make it back to the house without being harassed. Hey buddy, you're losing it. Come on. You're losing it. Hey. Hey. Eyes on the prize. Thank you. They're fighting to come up. It's so hilarious. Everybody in single file. Now my question is, I'm probably going to need to move the ceremony a little bit closer. Just so that they actually transform. And it'll only do two at a time. As I'm looking at the quest, I see a little side note in here that if the chime is hanging from leaves, there's a bonus to the melody. So... I'm going to find a cool little way to hang these from leaves. There we go. I think that looks pretty nice. Alright, once these wind chimes come back, we are going to activate the buffalo dance ceremony, which is the drum and chime. And we got two buffalo. That was not as hard as it's been for me in the past. Uh, I might have learned a thing or two. But let's take a look at our specimen. Oh, they're so cute. I think what I might do is build a little separate pen for them because fences are cheap. Um, the only question is where do I want to put them? Our boys are nice and separated now. Just a few things left to do. Give me a baby. Sweet. I appreciate your services. I think while I wait for him to grow up and them to be able to be bred again, I'm going to go down and mine and come up with a nice load. Well, we went mining. Uh, might not look like a lot, but I actually picked up some rupee and arlamite this time. I've been skipping over it a lot. Got a bunch of gold and a bunch of iron. Iron is slowly doing its thing automatically. Already got 11 blocks. So as sad as it is, as the night falls, I feel like it's time we have to take one of these guys out. I think it's just one. Yeah, just one as long as it drops a tooth and hide and meat. So I don't know what the drop chances are of each of those individual items. 
But I think I'm going to try to push one of them out and kill him. I really have no idea how he fit through a one block size hole. Okay, you have to die. I'm so sorry. We got one of, well, two slash three of everything. Easy enough. I've done enough mining trips to grab those blocks. Yeah, you guessed it. Another ritual. This time for the Serenade of the Sphinx. Serenade of Syrinx. Let me reference my totempedia. The Flute and Rattle. Let's see how hard this one is. Yeah, that's not going to work. And I hit one of my buffalo on accident. Oh, I got it now. I'm on it. I am so on it. That did not give me Pan's flute. Do I really need to hide in the sugar cane? There it is. No, I did not have to hide in the sugar cane. I hate this mod so much. I actually think I'm going to be logical and choose feather falling on this because when I get to the nether, I'm going to want to be able to fall from those high cliffs to access better areas. That's just wonderful. Another ritual right off the bat. But we have to go get parrots. And luckily, I know exactly where there's a ton of them. I wonder if the blue parrot is still somewhere along here. Oh, he had to have despawned by now. Oh no, here he is, right here. He's trying to befriend the crab. Hilarious. Oh, come on, you're gonna take all my seeds? Okay, my, my two parrots are now sitting by the tree, ready to be transformed. Let's look at the next godforsaken ritual. Once transformed, they can be tamed with any kind of raw fish and bred with salmon. Okay, first we need to fish and get a decent amount so that they don't just fly away. I want to tame them before they can fly away. I'm going to make a bronze one because I'm fancy. Let's go catch some fish. guess that is one nice thing about having a little wooden pier thing. I can just fish right here off the shore. A salmon right off the bat. I never noticed that they added new animations to fishing. You can um, even see the little fish swim up to the hook. That is so cool. Wow. Another salmon right off the bat. We're two for two right now. Okay, I might have enough fish now. Let's see what the ritual calls for. The rattle and wind chime. And let's see how difficult of a time I have with this one. Something was running out with white smoke, and I don't know if it was the rattle or the flute. The Zvika Walt. I didn't think that was the one that I activated. Not too sure what that one just did. Oh, that's kind of cool. Nearby eggs that are just floating have a higher chance to hatch than if they were just thrown. I'm just going to have a bunch of chickens roaming around now. It's fine by me. It's cool. See if we can actually get this appropriate uh, ritual done. Oh my god, I did it somehow. Like, barely. That was... That was incredibly intense, but the mission has been completed. Not the quest, though. Look at the eagle dance. That's the true eagle dance right there. Luckily, there's only going to be one more ceremony for now, I think. I'm going to need to kill one of these in hopes of getting a bone and a feather. Or what I want to do is wait and breed one more time. I'll breed one more time, find something to occupy my time until then, probably a little bit of redecorating. Once he grows up in 20 minutes, I'll breed again. Oh, we'll be good here soon.
Yo, stop sniping my buffalo. You just killed all of them pretty much. What an asshole. Okay, I'm I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry I have to do this, but And you dropped both. Craft your final musical instrument an eagle bone whistle. Osmium. Oh, we need another. It's a good thing I bred a, a second bald eagle, a second baby recently. Mama, it's time. The eagle bone whistle. Boss fight. Perform the totance ritual to summon Baycock. For our big boss fight, I'm going to go ahead and build a six tall cow tower. This will protect us from damage. It will slow us down as well, as you can see. But... We have resistance four now, and I have an incredibly strong bow. My hopes is I can summon him from the tree and then run over here and pillar up into my little area and shoot him, shoot him away. And we'll see how well this works. I might die, but uh, it's, at this point, it's worth a shot. It'd probably be easier if I set up additional wind chimes, but I'm not at that point of desperation yet. Oh, we might be on to something now. I gotta be prepared to run. Oh boy. Of course, the totem is directly behind him. Or in front, rather. Let's see how just how powerful the bow is. I really don't like his auto lock-on mechanism he's got here sitting at the top of the tree. This is really unfortunate that I built this not in the proper position. This is way more difficult than I expected it to be, mostly because the bald eagles are jacking my entire groove up. Bro, sit your ass down. Oh my god, he's gonna kill me. I just leave it at this height. I should be able to get him here in a second. Haha. -ha. Wow, that was incredibly more difficult than I intended. And I'm curious how much that totem actually saved me. Uh, nevertheless, let's go collect our reward. Well, with that, we'll go ahead and wrap up episode two. Uh, probably my least favorite episode out of the entire series. And I'm making that determination right now. Um... But yeah, I think hopefully Totemic is done for the rest of the series. I have no idea because I don't know how deep this pack really goes. But yeah, um, if you watched this video all the way through, thank you very much. I appreciate your support and I'll see you guys for episode three. Bye now.